So our techniques are helping thousands and actually tens of thousands of patients now around the world with cancer by being able to identify the more aggressive cancers that need more treatment and then whether a treatment is working. So the goal is to improve our understanding of what causes diseases and then come up with new ways to treat them and then follow them with our techniques. We've developed biomarkers uh, that enable us to confirm that we've delivered a drug to the tumor and that that drug is actually hitting the target that it's supposed to hit. Uh, there's a lot of very interesting biology coming out that is telling us what's driving these tumors and how they might be targeted in a very uh, specific way. We're focused on developing companion imaging biomarkers for these uh, lower grade brain tumors. So historically, prostate cancer was diagnosed based on pathologic analysis of tissue taken at an invasive biopsy. Because the biopsy procedure is invasive, you can only take so many of them. Oftentimes we miss the most important cancers in the prostate because of this. So basically what we've done was develop a multi-parameter exam, which allows us to better characterize the cancer based on imaging the pathologic structure of the tumor, uh, blood flow to the tumor, as well as tumor metabolism. Our next big thing is to improve the sensitivity of this technology, and we're doing this with a new technology that we're working again with industry to develop, and that is called hyperpolarized carbon-13 MRI. But even more importantly, to hopefully better assess how well the therapy is working, or if it stopped working, whether we can use this information to decide on a new therapeutic. Everybody has lower back pain. So many people are going in for early joint replacements. So my research is aimed at finding an answer as to what causes the pain in lower back pain and to reduce the number of joint replacements that people go through on an annual basis. So the next step is really to disseminate our technology and to also use the data that is existing to actually be able to do the analysis which tells us the status of the joint. So our research has advanced to this level because there's been so much improvement in the kind of medical imaging equipment we get, as well as computers. So part of the success story in terms of our research lab has been these programmatic grants. The other thing that's made us really successful is the very fact that we have a very interdisciplinary and energetic team over here at UCSF. We have bioengineers, we have imaging scientists, we have radiologists, we have orthopedic surgeons. Everybody sort of works together. We've had the opportunity to train students. We start off at the high school level. Many of them get placed in wonderful colleges. The undergraduates go to medical school or to PhD programs. And uh, this brings along a certain motivation. And I think that has basically been most of the accomplishments, I would say, in this particular area. You know, these are the future engineers and scientists who are gonna impact healthcare in the future. And, and it, it's, it's great to be part of that legacy to be able to take these people um, through to a point where they're gonna really be the, the future leaders.